Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing an energy forecast for the month of November 2018. So we'll enter November with a great surge of energy pushing us from behind and that has much to do with the what has been uh, rising up, what has been building up in the last three to four months. And at the end of October 2018, we have a great um, change that comes upon us. And the same is that that change reverberates through November. So there are two um, groups of people. Or there, there are two different ways, rather, that people will uh, experience energy. One will be a restlessness, in which... Uh, some of you may feel that you're not able to get things moving, that you can't see the progress, that you can't actually feel uh, the direction in which you're going into. You may feel a restlessness, a frustration, um, a feeling as if you cannot get things done. Uh, or it could be that uh, you don't have a goal, so to say. Even if you know what your goals are usually, it's almost as if it goes behind a shadow, it's eclipsed, and you don't actually know in this moment what it is uh, that you are working towards. And then you have the other group of people who will feel this energy as a huge um, impetus to do something. They will feel revitalized. They will feel an ability to be able to move things after a long time of non-movement. They will feel that it is easier to do things and easier to make things happen because they are actually riding this wave. So the energy as it hits the planet or as we experience it uh, as, as living beings on this planet is that of uh, um, something that, that's springing out of the earth. It's um, like a volcano erupting, but it's not so, uh, it doesn't have the, the light aspect of it. It's more like the earth erupting, but not as an earthquake and swallowing with the earth erupting and giving forth something. And those of you who are excited about this and uh, are open in order to be able to ride this energy will be those that benefit from this the most. For those of you who are feeling restless and a bit blocked and unable to actually move things ahead, or you feel maybe that uh, others are moving things along and you are not moving at the same pace as them, or you'd like to be able to move at the same pace, you'd like to be able to feel something in your life which is, which has this movement, which has this mark of success, so to say. Because any kind of movement is a success in itself. Any non-movement is a stagnation, and in itself, it is a form of death. So when we are moving, whichever direction we're moving into, we are putting forth something, we are creating, and we are being a part of this world. We are contributing to this world in whichever way uh, you, you are succeeding. And if you feel that you are not able to do this for whatever reason, then you will feel despondent within yourself. You will feel despairing. You will un you will feel as if you cannot, uh, you're trying to climb a wall, but it's a bit slippery and you're falling off of it. So that is very much the energy that embodies most of November. For those of you who have that feeling that you can't really grab onto something, you can't really climb this mountain, you can't really surmount this pressure that's building up from within. The advice is to actually uh, try to locate the blockages in your life. Understand where it is that you're stopping yourself from experiencing this energy. Where is it that you are holding yourself back from riding this energy? And try to navigate your way through. Try to under, try to visualize what it would be like to ride this energy. Try to visualize what it would be like to be in flow. And find other ways, whether you use rituals or meditation or sport, to be able to just uh, come into that a feeling of flow. The advice is to choose one particular task, one particular goal, and work towards that. And try to uh, bring this energy or harness this energy for the use uh, or for the achievement of that one particular goal. 
So that is one of the um, um, kind of waves of energy that's coming through. It has a lot to do with uh, planetary changes. It has a lot to do with solar flares. It has a lot to do with our progression as a human race. Um, the other aspect of November 2018 is the signaling of that which is the beginning of the end. And uh, that has much to do with, uh, once again, the progression of us as a human race. There's two directions in which one may go with this energy. Yeah, you will begin to feel um, that which is surmountable, or you will begin to feel that which is all-encompassing. For those of you who feel that it's surmountable, it is necessary for you to understand and to further the well-being of all living beings of this planet. And one may do this through sending out prayers into the world, one may do this by sending out, um, by doing meditations, healing meditations, one may do this simply by ensuring the thoughts that one has is, uh, it, it remains positive, okay? For those of you who feel that it's all encompassing, what you need to be working with is um, the ability to, to cope, the ability to manage this energy. So when I talk about the beginning of the end, I'm talking about uh, the, the acceleration of progression of the human race and the, and the, uh, the progression, basically, the, the evolution of the human race. And it's evolution uh, that is uh, not um, evolution that takes place in hundreds of thousands of years um, in terms of our genetic structure uh, as human beings, but rather from an energetic point of view. And uh, this refers to uh, a path of destruction that we are on, that we collectively, as a human race, have embarked upon. And this may be manifest in um, the, um, the arms sales and the continuation of war that we, uh, the, the path of war that we are on. The idea, um, the, the uh, insistence upon the, the corporations of furtherance uh, the greed that we live with and the ability, the, or the, rather the inability to be able to s take a step back and understand what it is that the planet needs, what it is that the being needs, and what is it that we as a collective need. We as a collective, including the earth as well as the animals here, need uh, us to take a dramatic step back and inward to be able to work with the spiritual aspect of ourselves. But what we see rather is an acceleration of a form of corporatism and globalism and a, um, commercialism that is bringing us onto the brink. And uh, for those of you who feel that it's all encompassing, the idea is to take a step back within yourself and to understand where is it that you can make a contribution towards the reigning back of this energy. For November, it comes to being, it comes very clearly to being, that the energy that we are pulling towards is that uh, which is destructive and which has an end, and the end is in sight. With that in mind, it is necessary to, to target or to harness the energy that one has, the individual's power, to be able to work or to pull back the human race and its workings in a direction that is for the preservation of all living life on this planet. For those of you who feel this um, starkly or on any level whatsoever, it's important for you to be able to work with this energy in this month. And so for November of 2018, those two energies uh, that I've just explored in this um, short video is what will be at the foremost of our being.
So I will endeavor to drop a weekly uh, energy forecast. Um, this is not always possible because I do this um, largely based on when I uh, receive a, an advice to channel. And so uh, today I've received that, and, and this is for the month of November. I will endeavor uh, to drop a monthly energy forecast. I think that's possible. And I will do one for um, the year of 2019 as well. So look out for that towards the end of November. So I thank you very much for coming by this channel and for passing by Kismet Rising and for watching my videos. And I thank you all for your support. I wish you all very well for the month of November 2018 and beyond, and blessings abound.